Now, on to Camilla. Um, I always like talking about Camilla. I find her really interesting. And look, she remains polarising. Um, but I can't help but feel like she has played a really good long game. Um, how does Charles's coronation reflect as a success for Camilla? Well, you know, she's played a blinder. Um, when I was working full time and, and following the Royals, you know, I made no secret. She, she was my uh, favourite Royal. She was, in, in a personal sense, dealing with us as the media. She didn't speak publicly, but she was, she was great. I remember travelling on a, in a same train carriage as her on a, on a trip she did to Paris. And, you know, she was having a cigarette with everybody and chatting away. Um, I think she has done a remarkable job in winning over the British public, having started out if you remember the headlines of Britain's most hated woman, uh, you know, the woman who broke up the marriage of Charles and Diana. But she's played a long game. Uh, she's kept uh, she's kept quiet. Uh, she hasn't commented in public, apart from a few of the issues that she is personally interested in, literacy being, being one of them. But she's played the royal role the way that the public like to see it. She hasn't been controversial. And gradually, uh, the papers have warmed to her. Now, that is not to say, um, again, that there won't be people, and there will be uh, quite a few, who will feel uncomfortable when she is crowned. She is going to have the imperial crown placed on her head at the coronation. She is the queen consort, but increasingly is using the title queen, Queen Camilla. Now, there will be people who find that one a little bit tricky, um, not least, uh, one has to say, Prince Harry, who's made it very clear that he was uncomfortable, and his brother, about her uh, entering the royal family. But this will be for her, this coronation is kind of the last lap of a long, long race. You know, she started out as Charles's mistress at a time when he would not have been able to remarry as the head of the Church of England. Uh, She's come a long way now. Now she has married uh, the then future king. And in a few weeks' time, she's going to be crowned next to him as queen. Yeah, it does seem like the most exceptional journey. And I, like we've discussed over such a long period of time, it has been it has been quite the it has been quite something to watch. Look, that's that's it for this evening. Thank you so much, Tim Ewart, for joining us again, and we'll be speaking to you shortly.